Today, we are going to delve into an important topic that affects many women, fibroadenomas. We'll cover what they are, who they affect, their causes, symptoms, treatment options, and their relationship to breast cancer and other important considerations. So if you or someone you know has been diagnosed with a fibroadenoma or is experiencing breast related concerns, then this is for you. What are fibroadenomas and who do they affect? Fibroadenomas are non-cancerous benign breast lumps. They are made up of a combination of glandular as well as fibrous tissue. Now fibroadenomas can develop in any part of the breast and it can affect women of all ages, but they are most commonly found in women in their 20s and 30s. However, they can also occur in older women and even in teenage girls. What are the causes and symptoms of fibroadenomas? The exact cause of fibroadenomas is still unknown. However, we feel that hormonal factors, particularly estrogen, are believed to play a significant role in their development. In most cases, fibroadenomas do not cause any symptoms and we can find fibroadenomas incidentally with scanning. However, some women may feel a palpable lump in the breast that feels firm, smooth and rubbery and they are commonly associated with features of a fibroadenoma. The presence of a lump must be checked by a healthcare professional though. Are fibroadenomas painful and how are they treated? Fibroadenomas are usually painless, although some women may experience tenderness or discomfort if the lump is large or if it is pressing against nearby structures. In most cases, fibroadenomas do not require any form of treatment and can be safely left alone especially if they're not causing any discomfort or affecting your breast health. However, if a fibroadenoma is causing pain, is growing rapidly or causing significant anxiety for the patient, then treatment options may be considered. And the only way to treat it is with an excision, which is surgery essentially. This involves removing the lump under general anesthetic. And commonly it is done as a day case when patients can then go home a few hours after the surgery. Can fibroadenomas turn into cancers? Now this is a very common question, and the answer to that is no. Fibroadenomas themselves do not turn into cancers. They are benign, meaning they're non-cancerous growths, and are not associated with an increased risk of breast cancer. It is essential, however, to continue practicing regular breast self-exams and to follow the recommended screening guidelines for early detection of breast cancer. Should I worry about my risk of breast cancer if I have had fibroadenomas. While fibroadenomas themselves are not associated with an increased risk of breast cancer, it's important to assess your overall risk factors for breast cancer. And what factors are these? Well, they include factors such as family history, uh, personal medical history, as well as lifestyle choices. If you have fibroadenomas, it is recommended for you to stay breast aware. Remember, every individual is unique and it's essential to discuss your specific risk factors and concerns with a healthcare professional who can provide personalized guidance based on your situation. Now, what about follow-up and monitoring if you have a fibroadenoma? Fibroadenomas do not need regular surveillance. The take-home message is if you feel that the lump is getting bigger or if you have any ongoing concerns, then do go back and see a doctor. What about emotional support and coping strategies? Receiving a diagnosis of a breast lump, even if it is a benign lump like a fibroadenoma, can cause emotional distress and anxiety. And it's important to recognize and address these emotions. So seeking emotional support from loved ones, friends or support groups can be helpful during this time. Remember, fibroadenomas are usually harmless, but it's completely normal to feel worried or concerned. Having an open and honest conversation with your healthcare provider about your fears, as well as your questions, can provide reassurance as well as clarity. I hope that's helpful and I'll see you in the next one.